Police believe one man is responsible for a string of burglaries in Gresham. This week, the suspect was indicted, and tonight we're learning more about what charges he's facing. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us live from Gresham, where a business caught that suspect on camera. Jeffrey? Pete, that's right. Here in Gresham, Eye Candy is just one of several businesses that police believe that suspect hit. The owner says she got an alert on her phone in the middle of the night last October and learned that it was a break in. I saw a man kicking in our back door and going through our lockers. Police say the man in this video is 37 year old Adam Samuel Johnson. Investigators believe Johnson used some sort of burglary tool to efficiently get in and out of businesses during a string of break ins late last year. It was a huge hit. Sydney Joyner owns Eye Candy. Where they whip up a variety of tasty treats for anyone and everyone with a candy craving. All of these are so in the airplane, too. Joyner says she saw the suspect digging through her till on camera and was quick about calling police. Seems to do this for a living. He was in and out in just a matter of minutes and left right before the cops got here. While the theme of the store is a wonderland of sweets, including ice cream, boba tea, milkshakes, and of course, candy, she says that's not what the thief was after. Instead, she says he went to the safe in the back. We've had break-ins here in the past, but nothing of this magnitude. Inside, thousands of dollars in cash and personal employee information. One of them had to go all the way up to Boise, Idaho to switch down his old bank account and drive all the way back with his pregnant wife. Johnson is facing 17 charges in connection to several other burglaries around town, accused of stealing a firearm from one nearby business. It's been a huge problem in this community of the rise in crime. But for Joyner, whose shelves are painted with candy as colorful as a rainbow. Just about anything you can think of. It won't stop her from satisfying the community sweet tooth. No, it does not. <laughs> Joyner says she's glad the suspect is facing the justice system, and at this point, we don't know when Johnson will next appear in court. And by the way, I did want to mention that uh, Joyner's church held a fundraiser on her behalf, and they were able to uh, get enough money to be able to pay her back for her losses, so pretty cool stuff there. Reporting live in Gresham, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.